Jardin Jacquery has slowly but surely made himself known as a footballer. He rose to fame pretty quick and it seems like he has no intention of stopping anytime soon either. And so many of his fans probably wonder just how rich he's gotten. Today we're going to give you all the insights into his salary, how many cars he owns, and who he's dating. Keep watching to find out. Shakiri has a humble background. Jardin Shakiri was born in Gilgen, and since you've probably never heard of it, it's a city located in eastern Kosovo. His parents are Kosovar Albanian, and the family shifted to Switzerland all the way back in 1992. He, his parents, and his three siblings chose to settle down in Augst, a small city close to the French and German borders. His dad didn't actually know how to speak Swiss German at all, so he began with random jobs like washing the dishes in a restaurant and construction work on the roads. His mom used to clean offices in the city of Basel. His family didn't have too much money and they even had to set a chunk of whatever little they had back to their other family members in Kosovo. The man actually has some really humble beginnings. He began playing football from a very young age at SV Augs, which was the club of his hometown. He used to idolize the Brazilian legend Ronaldo at the time, who he saw as no less than a magician. At the age of eight, he moved to FC Basel, and before long, he attracted the interest of many other international clubs. During a U15 Nike Cup in 2007, he was dubbed the player of the tournament. The interest from others only got bigger and bigger, but the young and promising player chose to stay loyal with FC Basel. He made his debut for the first team of FC Basel in 2009 in the 2009-10 season opening game against the team FC St. Gallen. He participated in 100 games for the Swiss top club in which he made over 26 goals. In February 2012, FC Basel revealed that the winger would be moved to the German top club Bayern Munich. The record meister dished out 12 million euro for him and signed him for four years. Shakiri played great, but the competition was very tough. Bayern had Ribéry and Robin on the wings, and those guys were the big stars of the team. After two years, he chose to move to Inter Milan, who purchased him for 15 million euro. By now, it'll be safe to conclude that due to several reasons, this was not the greatest marriage. Only after a year, he moved to Stoke City for a fee of 12 million pounds. It was at the Potters where he turned into the big star he is nowadays. He went above and beyond and really proved himself during almost every game in the Premier League. In the three seasons in Stoke-on-Trent, he finally displayed his talent and amazing skill and gained the interest of Liverpool FC. He hasn't been dubbed the Messi of the Alps without good reason. How much does he earn? In August 2021, he signed a contract with Olympique Lyon that netted him an astonishing salary of $3 million per year, but he's making even more money now. Shakiri recently became Major League Soccer's highest paid player. He even left behind Los Angeles FC attacker Carlos Vela and broke Zlatan Ibrahimovic's league record. He actually has a base salary of $7.35 million and his total compensation adds up to $8,153,000 as per figures released by the Major League Soccer Players Association. He is also predicted to be passed by Lorenzo Insignia. The Italian winger Ibrahimovic had the last high of $7.2 million with the LA Galaxy in 2019. Galaxy forward Javier Hernandez started the season in second with $6 million, and Inter Miami striker Gonzalo Higuain was the third with his $5.1 million base and $5,793,750 in total compensation. Alejandro Pazuelo, Toronto midfielder, is fourth with $3.8 million and a total of $4,693,000, followed by the New England forward Josie Altidore, who has $3,706,000 and one hundred and thirty nine dollars. As of 2022, Shakiri's net worth is worth twelve million dollars. He's the most highly paid player in the MLS. Not only that, he has multiple sources of income, which include not only football contracts, but also plenty of endorsements, sponsorship bonuses and other businesses. He has three years remaining on his contract with Chicago Fire, which will expire on the 31st of December, 2024. He has a $22.05 million gross left on his contract. According to his present-day contract, Shakiri earns $7.35 million per year at Chicago Fire. His weekly salary is $141,346. He's also endorsed by none other than Nike. The 31-year-old will be wearing the Nike Zoom Mercurial Superfly 9 soccer cleats for the 2022-23 season. While competing in the 2018 World Cup 2, he wore Nike Mercurial vapor boots and even had the Swiss flag embroidered on one of them. Who is Jordan dating? 
Shakiri has been reportedly involved in a relationship with Durata Amitaj, an Albanian singer. But we can't say for sure because these two haven't made the relationship public. Until now, that is. Shakiri and Durata had their pictures posted all over the Albanian and Swiss media in 2020, and the tabloids were claiming that they're definitely in a relationship. Let's take a look at his fancy car collection. The Swiss footballer has owned two Rolls-Royce, Mercedes G-Wagon, a Bentley, and a collection of Volkswagen. The ex stoke star who hopes to help drive Liverpool towards the Prem title also loves to pose with his motors and be photographed. First off, he has a Rolls-Royce Wraith. Shakari is a fan of the Rolls-Royce Wraith, which has a price that goes upward from 250,000 British pounds. It also happens to be the roller favored by football's elite. The Wraith, which has also been owned by the likes of Pogba and Lukaku, boasts a 6.6-liter V12 twin-turbocharged engine, which can reach 60 miles per hour within just 4.4 seconds. Not too shabby, if we do say so ourselves. One of the finest motors out there that also comes with a smooth ride, it costs upwards of 250,000 British pounds. He has another Rolls-Royce Wraith. Yes, he has two. The Swiss midfielder got himself two Wraiths, one in black and one in white. Looks like he got one and just loved it so much he decided he needed another one in a different color. Rolls-Royce themselves have described it as their most powerful model and the beautiful piece of machinery also stands out thanks to its doors that open backwards. The only question Shakari now has to answer is, which one does he want to take out? As if the two Rolls Royces weren't enough, he also has a Bentley Continental. Not too long ago, a Bentley used to be the classiest car a Premier League player could own. Once upon a time, Man United's car park was filled with them, and Shakari was obviously a fan too. The Continental, which has a price of 168,000 British pounds, has a giant 6-liter engine with 626 bhp, which could even exceed 200 miles per hour. Then there's his Mercedes G-Wagon. Like most footballers, Shakari's garage also features a Mercedes G-Wagon, which is on the list of must-have motors in Premier League car parks. Shakari's G-Wagon has a 5.5-liter engine which can hit around 130 miles per hour, and the engine has 571 bhp. The ex stoke man got the Merc colored in a matte maroon with glossy black 20-inch alloys. But VW fan Shakari also has a Touareg, which has a starting price of £47,165. When he's not taking a ride in his roller or Bentley, Shakari has some more humble motors too. Now, onto his less fancy cars. The Swiss also sometimes can be seen driving around in a Volkswagen Touareg, VW's flagship 4x4, which has a starting price of £47,165 and was created to rival the BMW X5, Audi's Q7, and Porsche's Cayenne. The car can come with 335 bhp, which sees it reach 0 to 60 miles per hour in the short time span of 5.6 seconds. There's another VW in the Shakari garage, and that is the Artian Saloon. The car just starts at just £34,745 and has been said to be the company car of motors, made for salesmen like David Life on the road Brent. It's not what you expect to see in a footballer's garage, but he probably has his reasons for owning some more modest cars too. One thing's for sure, the guy's got pretty good taste. That's all for today. Thanks for watching.